Welcome to 2021, everyone, and a happy new year. Come on, tell the truth. Have you missed me? I'm Oliver Colling, and this is a trailer for the new season of My 70s TV Childhood. Hello again, and welcome back to My 70s TV Childhood. I hope you've managed to have a good Christmas, a New Year celebration, and are ready for more memories, insights, and anecdotes from me and my range of guests as we look forward to our forthcoming new season of the show. If you're new to the podcast, that's very sad, but you do have the chance to make up for lost time, as all of our previous episodes are available via Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Pandora, and all other major podcast platforms. If you're a regular listener, then thank you for listening, and I really hope you're going to enjoy our new season. Oh, and if you haven't done so already, why not subscribe to the podcast so you'll never miss an episode? Our podcast celebrates what it was like to grow up as a child in Britain during the 1970s and the central part that television played in our lives. As I said before, the 1970s has a bad reputation as the decade that taste forgot, and although the UK economy was on its knees for most of the decade, it was the time of mine and many others' childhoods, and we have overwhelmingly happy memories of our lives then. I've been overwhelmed by how many people have been listening to the show, and really humbled that we now have listeners in 28 countries across the world. I'm also delighted to report that our recent Christmas edition has become the most listened to episode of My 70s TV Childhood. So what can you expect from season two? Well, in short, pretty much more of the same. I'll be bringing you some of my personal memories of my childhood growing up in the northwest of England. I'll be joined by some fascinating guests, many of whom are listeners to the show, and there'll be features and a few surprises along the way. Most of all, though, I want to hear from you about your memories of the 1970s and what you'd like me to explore further in future episodes. You can let me know what you'd like to see featured and share your thoughts on any of the subjects covered in our podcast to date at our blog, www.my70stvchildhood.com. Tweet at 70 TV Childhood or email me, Oliver at my 70s TV childhood.com. To date, we've covered subjects as diverse as Watch With Mother, Saturday Night TV, Sport on TV, music and public information films. We've also featured some classic shows like Blue Peter, Are You Being Served, and even The Banana Splits. And we've also had some great contributions from our guests. So tune into the new season to hear a bit more of things like this. But Hector's house was, funnily enough, it was about a house owned by this dog called Hector, although I don't think you actually ever saw the inside of his house. I think it was always just focused on his garden, about which he was very particular. Um, and the other main characters were, I think, his next-door neighbour, Kiki the Frog. Kiki the Frog, um, I remember Kiki the Frog. Uh, who seemed to be quite relaxed about property rights and things like that. Um, uh, and then Madame Zaza, who was the cat. Uh, but I could never, I'm just trying to think, I didn't know whether there's some sort of cross-species relationship going on between Hector and Zaza. We'll also be having a bit more of this. Oh, yes, well, um, the thing I do remember, which again was very enduring, was the clangers, the little knitted creatures. Oh, yes, yes. And for the great Oliver Postgate, the great Oliver Postgate, who did all sorts of things. Um, and is he Emma Thompson's father? No, well, you can edit that out. <laughs> and hopefully, some of this. A final word on detective shows, and for me, the very first 45 inch single I think I ever remember, if not ever remember, buying 
No trip to Amsterdam is now ever complete without a quick blast of eye level to get us right in the mood. For me, this timeless classic of a television theme to top cop show Van der Vogt has continuing power to draw pictures and set a mood. But most of all, what I'm really looking forward to in the next season is your company, as we remember growing up in simpler times, where, in spite of all the orange and beige we had to wear, we had lots of happy memories. Can't wait to welcome you back to the new season of My 70s TV Childhood, coming soon.